Hope you're ready. Live for your Friday. The good vibes are always. Sit back and press play. You will be at home. Live for your Friday. The good vibes are always. Sit back and press play. It's Friday! And we back. back. Rico, Will, Cam, and Perry on the track. track. It's Friday. Hey. The weekend. It's all good. good. Positive vibes flowing through your hood. Your hood. All right. It's Friday! I guess because Will not here, Cam, you feel like you had to do that with me today. You're <laughs> not here. Shout out to Will. Shout out to Will. But the voice from God is here and this is he on this episode. Oh God. Trey, Trey is here, so y'all can hear him real, real good this episode. Oh, yeah. He finally got the mic. You know, you never get it back. <laughs> <laughs> guys, so we are super, super excited about this episode. So I know you guys are still looking for why we were calling the first episode Treasure Friday and Treasure was not on that episode. But like we told y'all at the end of the episode, I was like, I'm not changing the name of this episode. It's still going to be called Treasure Friday, but we're going to have a part two. And so we here with part two. So we super duper excited, man. Y'all ready? Oh, I'm right. ready. I'm ready. ready. I'm extremely excited. Yes, yes. We got a lot of questions. We just games, fun stuff ready, ready for this. So Y'all, we're going to take a pause for the calls, and we're going to be right back after these messages. <laughs> Can I have this last dance with you? Or will my doubts come true? back guys so we are super duper excited for the person to my right it's treasure (laughs) she's here guys live in person in color finally right yes we're super duper excited we got some questions for we got some games and guys just a little tidbit when we were putting this whole episode together treasure wanted to play some games i'm like we got you the world's most positive podcast we got you with fun and games we got you right there absolutely even though we are not the world's most fun podcast so you know <laughs> i thought we were fun huh? we're not fun, we're not no, funny no, we are fun we, and i'm funny but get here out of here <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. All right, Treasure. So we got some questions, and um, I'm going to kick it off. Okay. Guys, so y'all know that she's an actress, a dancer, a singer. She's a triple threat. She does it all. Okay? She does it all. So, okay. Treasure, what is the most important thing that you've learned as a performer? Uh, the most important thing that I've learned as a performer is discipline. Definitely got to yes. have uh, discipline within this field. And you have to learn how to not take yourself so seriously all the time because that's when like you lose the organicness of everything. So, yeah, discipline and having having fun. Oh, and doing purposeful work. Okay. Purposeful okay. work, okay. too, because sometimes... Not to not to shade nobody, but sometimes like if there's the story, it just doesn't. It doesn't ain't, align. It's not feeding. Right, it's not right. doing anything. So it's just like you. It makes it harder. It, it's possible, but it makes it harder for you as a performer or entertainer to really like. Get I it all totally it relate to that. That's mm-hmm. I don't right. I don't do anything that I don't feel yeah. like I, that I don't connect to. Like because then I'm gonna be fake. Exactly. And as actors, and I'm we not already gotta at, be fake. Right. So. And I'm not good at being fake for <laughs> yeah. real for real. For real. <laughs> like, that's hard. No I mean, way. Like yeah. You're, just, you're not feeling it. But I mean, you do what you gotta do. But for if if you can, definitely do important work. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's so funny that you mentioned that um before Cam asked his question, I was watching 
um, Instagram Live with one of my favorite people. Shout out to Tracy Bonner. I am <laughs> obsessed. I, I mean, I don't. I'm not upset. I'm just. I just love her. She's just her energy is just so great. She's mm-hmm. just such a positive person. I mean, every time I just watch her, I'm just like I'm smiling, laughing. I'm just beaming. But she was talking about purposeful work and just doing just for us, mm-hmm. like purposeful work for us, our people. Like we just we can't just be taking any old Anything. thing. Not in no 2021. Because they can. will. They'll give it to you. They will. They, they will, will give it to you. Give it like, right oh, to here, you. we gave you something. And that's what, no. I don't want that. And you know I don't want that. And you exactly. know I'm better than that. So don't Hello. do that to me. Hello. Right. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Cam. So what's, what's your that? question, bro? Twin. Treasure. How you doing, Twin? Hey, Twin. Just to let y'all know, we have the birthday. We have a birthday on the same day. Yes. July 14th. A great oh. day. So, Cancer's in the, in the building. Cancer's know, in the building. Cancer's in the building. You know what's crazy? I had no idea it was the 14th. Man, it's crazy. Continue. Really? What? Oh. What is that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Treasure, my question for you is, mm-hmm. how has music influenced your life's journey through education at HBCU in your career? Oof. Ooh, it's know. African-American Music Boom, guys. Shout out. Ah. Black Music Month, so right. that's what this question is correlation to. Man, music, mm-hmm. music is our life. Like that's just another that's another form of language, right? Right. So you know what I'm saying. Like when it came to going to a HBCU and me even being within like drama and theater, it was already given. We had to have some music in there somewhere, and it's and it's deeper than lyrics. Like you go back to as far as history, because we had an African-American history class that right. taught us about, you know, music of like jazz, ragtime, right. um, yes. all of those type of things. And you realize how much it correlates um, to how we learn and educate ourselves now. But as far as me growing up, I've always been a huge fan of music. And even with my parents and like my aunties, cousins, everybody had something new. To show somebody yes. or have somebody listening okay. to, or okay. we was watching 106 in Park. Man, that was and, the show. You know, like that <laughs> was the show. That was that what was we show. watched after school to right. to stay up with what was going on. As yeah, shout out to Bow Wow Free AJ. Free, AJ. Okay. Yep, Man, oh, that was the but show. They, J. Yeah, Roxy. Like they, oh yeah, Roxy. Oh yes, Roxy. <laughs> Terrence J. Man, y'all know I only yeah. said the the host that I really like. So. Who? Jeez. Oh, see, oh, we grew, well, nah. we, we, AJ and yeah, Bow Wow, Terrence J and Roxy oh, was down. the best. <laughs> AJ and Free were number ones of number ones as hosts. Like they were the bomb. bomb. Everybody wanted to be a host because of them. Like you just because of if you wanted to be on BET. I'm like man, yeah, that's true. But but that's as true. far as as far as that helping with like my education, it just showed me that you can be purposeful with your art, right? And just helping people, healing people, understanding people, people understanding you, understanding yourself, understanding your culture. How big was the music scene at, at HB at at Norfolk State? Because that's where she went, y'all. Being at the HBCU, how was how big was music there? Like as a part of you going through. Man. Like, answer that question. Was Norfolk State your your first option? No, Norfolk State was not my first option. That was like. It was never even an option. Mm. No shade. Because y'all changed my life. <laughs> y'all changed my life. Okay. Norfolk State University, yes. I will put that hands down. Anybody that talks down or talks bad about Norfolk State, they had a bad experience, and I'm so sorry. But for me, Norfolk State changed my life. My first option, of course, being here um, in Virginia all my life, I wanted to go somewhere differently. And I really wanted to go to Cali. So mm-hmm. that was, you know, yeah. that was my that was my first choice. And then, you know, with me really wanting to pursue dance so heavy, I right. was like, I got to get to Cali. I got to go there. Like, that's the perfect place, of course. Cal yeah. Arts, USC, you know, I got to get, right, right, right. get there. I got to get there. I got to get there. Mama, pa- they was like, well, what money? Oh, Ooh. so you're going to get some more scholarship? Oh, oh, so you're going to get, oh, okay. Right. So, no yeah. joke. It's no so, joke. You good, you good. It's so, no joke. Yeah, but with with that being my first option, that not really going as plans, mm-hmm. 
a lot of my college, my beginning of college career didn't go as planned. So I ended up going to Radford and that wasn't even my first choice. That was like by the grace of God, they accepted me into the dance program. And I was like, okay, this is something I can do. Like I I see myself still doing this because it was at a time where I wasn't getting accepted into anywhere. And Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, I don't want to be here, you know, Thoughts, oh my God, McDonald's. Oh my God, I don't want to work there. (laughs) Or like just, oh my God, I don't want to be a bum. Like that just, it just made me very nervous within that time. So, but Norfolk State, um, Norfolk State was after the failing attempt at uh, Radford University and then having to get myself together at Thomas Nelson Community College. Shout out. Shout out to Thomas Nelson. Nelson. Um, (laughs) And then... After Thomas Nelson, I went to Norfolk State, and all right, all right. they were able to literally allow me to do everything that it, that I was able to do as far as acting, singing, and dancing. So I wasn't missing anything. And Bad. right time and right place at the right time doing the right things. So yeah. Now, speaking of right time, Cam's question was not at the right time. Cut ah! me off, okay? <laughs> First of all, you cut me off. What's that? So, I know, right? I had, to, I had to hit him with a cool segue. They always try to get with me, get on me by my segue. So, when you <laughs> said that, I was like, boom, got him. Treasure. Yes. As being at, the, at Norfolk State HBCU, music heavy, what was the genre that was like the focus there? What, how did it impact your journey there? Um, Hip hop, for sure. R&B. Spartan Legion, that's our band. Yes, shout Hands out. Down, the best. <laughs> HBCU band, talk to me nicer, don't talk to me at all, Spartan Legion. Um, but just being around them and um, even like with the choir, the NSU Concert Choir, um, as well as Drum and Theater, it was very R&B, activity hour, R&B, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, hip-hop heavy. Um, but you found... That at a HBCU, even though there were all of these majors, come on, with come all, on, yeah, all of these majors that um, pertain to the arts, it was a lot of people that were outside of those majors that were like beast as hell. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. You found people that were making beats. You found people who were artists, like creating albums, literally rapping and. And putting on shows because we had like a Spartan Fest and yeah. homecomings and stuff like that, so it would allow our students to showcase their talents. And so when we saw that, it was definitely a lot of um, hip-hop, R&B, spoken word. Yes, love, yeah. Spoken word, definitely heavy Mm -hmm. over there, for sure. And I I consider spoken word music because it's a a type of, it's a rhythm. It's a rhythm that you hear. It's like the beginning of hip-hop. Yes. (laughs) Speaking of the beginning of hip-hop, Perrin... Thanks, man. I appreciate it. No, I got you. <laughs> yeah, that, that was good. It was pretty good. Pretty good. You know, we've been talking a lot about singing and acting, but Treasure, dancing is your core. So, if you could work with any famous dancer, who Debbie would it be? Allen. Well, oh, Debbie uh, Allen. Well, Debbie Allen. Well, hold on. And, and why? <laughs> and why? And why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to cut you off like that. Jeez. My, I she I'm knew all the I thought about this question all my life. Um, okay. No, but Debbie Allen, for sure, like... The go- it's so the attainable. Go- it is so attainable. It's like uh-huh. Deb- as as an entertainer, as a dancer, a black dancer at that. If you didn't know Debbie Allen, you won't consider no dancer. It was like yo, you don't know who that is. Like right. fame. Like she's re- or she's performed and choreographed like hell. Hell of award show um, performances. Like it's just you can't you can't talk about dance and not even talk about and, and not Allen. mention her. But you can't. as far as why I would want to work with her, I think she's just for our culture. She reminds us that that discipline that I was talking about. She's the core of that, and she, and I like how she teaches that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to her students to those who she's around that she technically wouldn't even be like teaching, teaching. They're just around her and just um, 
can feel that it's a it's a huge discipline and she teaches a lot Mm -hmm. as far as life and how to incorporate your art and with the times keeping it going back to your past but also talking about the present and what's going on and remaining present in your art as Mm. well as with everything that's going on in in your world and in that time right now so um Debbie Allen, she just she's just like the mother, the mother of dance. So it's like if you can, yes. if you can, if anything, of course I want to go to the mother because okay. she didn't. Yeah, okay, she okay. just she's taught so much and she's like genre wise. She's not just in one genre. Expanding. Like she expands in so many ways, and it's just like she's doing that. I can do that. She right. was making us Hello. believe that, and she. Right. I was introduced to her. Through my parents, mm-hmm. like my father was in love with her. He was like, oh, "Okay, if you're gonna be doing all this theater and stuff like that, you really don't know nothing. You know, you know about Debbie Allen. Uh, <laughs> you know, do you know about Debbie Allen?" And I was like, "No, Daddy, I don't." <laughs> right? Shout out to my dad. Hey, Dad. But um, and even like with fame, like I was right. introduced to to fame, like thinking about college, yeah. thinking about high school. That was like any performing arts student's dream. I always wanted yes. to go to a school like that, like. That yeah, thank I, God I, I was blessed to go to a school like that. Shout Damn. out to the Appomattox Regional Governor's School for the Arts and Technology come in on. Petersburg, Virginia. Ah. I was the first graduating class of 2002. Okay, Shout come out. on, okay. <laughs> rep your <laughs> rep your chain. Eight oh four, eight oh four, nine seven five. Have yeah. stuff like that. It was. Like, I mean, I, so I you. know what you're talking about. Like, it, it was literally the fame school in Petersburg, and so we were literally. Yes. Literally in the hallways, dancing, playing oh. violins, kids doing poetry. So I mean, everything. Awesome. So like beautiful. it was, it was. I cool. always wanted to go to one of those schools. I wish right. the Seven by Seven had one. Of those. Had more yes. one of, of those. that. Yeah, governor's, school, but that's right, indeed. But even like, but, when I was in, even with me like being in high school and stuff like that, I didn't learn about that until it's like not my accessible to the year, peninsula. You know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. accessible. Yeah, so it's like, like when people talk about how Virginia doesn't have this, or, no, they do. Right, it's just how much is talked about, how much is being exposed, and right. who. Have access. Who, who it's being exposed, exposed to. to. Exactly. Exactly. It's a huge difference. But That's like you said, like even yes. going across the water, going across North the water. Virginia Beach, Portsmouth, all of them areas, all of us, we we have those places, but especially in Virginia Beach and Norfolk, they have a lot of right. performing arts, um, schools, programs, all of those kinds of things. And we we have them upcoming down here, but it's just, you know. Unfortunately, it's a little different. slow, slow, yeah. slow on uptake, slow on uptake. But it's coming up. Yes. Shout out to Debbie Allen. Honor. Hello. Shout out to Debbie, Debbie Allen. Allen. Debbie she was honored yes. at the Kennedy Center a couple weeks ago. Yes. Oh, she sure was. Yeah, yes. Right. Was surprising. Shout, Shout out. out. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of Af- Black Music Month, she's contributed to to Black music. Hmm. You know, as a dancer. Right? Amen. I mean, yeah. Shout out to that. Oh, she's so Speaking of Black music, we're gonna go on to our first game. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this first game, you guys, is called Lyricist 101. So uh, mm. what we're going to do is we're going to give a lyric, and Treasure is going to have to guess the artist or the song. We will take either or. If you, if you know both, killing them. You're killing it. But if you know hot. one or the other, we'll take it. Okay, yes, the okay. pressure. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna alternate. We'll go down the line. We're gonna alternate with these lyrics. Okay. So I'll do the first one. Let's rock we're gonna, out. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. Okay. So here we go. It go. The first one goes like this. Okay. Flossing in my six with the Lex on the wrist. If it's murder, you know she wrote it. Do it for your deep throated. That's Lil Kim. Ah! Oh, Kim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you already know. Okay. <laughs> I, you know I, I, want I want everybody Kim to know. Trey said she's not gonna get this lyric. I said I don't know. Nah, nah, Ex- nah. Co- I love me some all about the Benjamins. <laughs> exactly. That's my song right there. I knew you was gonna come through. I knew she was gonna get it right. I love I me some little Shout out to another cancer queen. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, oh, you changed it. He changed it. He changed it. Oh, from what? From what it was? Okay. All right. Ah, you okay, doubt me. Go ahead, me. Kim. 
No, okay. All right. I'll tell you what it was. After. Okay. The second one is, <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, so tight. I won't bite unless you like. If you smoke, I got the haze. If you're hungry, girl, I got the fillet. Ooh. She's stumped by this one. Oh, so. Whoa. Mm. You want to read it again? Yeah, one more time. One more time. One more time for my ears. Oh, you're so sweet, so tight. I won't bite unless you like. If you smoke, I got the haze. And if you're hungry, girl, I got the fillet. <laughs> it's the end. I got the feeling. I love it. Right. I was. I was hoping you was gonna get like a little rhythm or something going. I was gonna catch it. He's doing it's a the, good. If, it's the if you so smoke bad. that's getting me because I hear it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. If uh-huh. you smoke, wow. I got the. Hit. You want a clue? We'll give you a clue. Okay. It's it's re it's very recent. Twenty twenty one. It's definitely recent, and it's two people. I, you give her. I would say one clue. Ah, you smoke, I got the hair. I'm going to feel, I'm gonna feel yeah, when he so foolish when, like, oh, I, when my I God, miss. yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm going to have to pass on this one. All right, what is it, Kim? Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. I'm going to leave the door. Oh, oh, oh you see? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're so oh, sweet. <laughs> so tight. I, I won't find you hungry. Yeah. Unless you like, like you if you know. smoke, I got the hate. <laughs> And if you're hungry, girl, Wait, so I got what was going to be the lyrics before? Um, From Trey's favorite song, Calling All My Lovelies. It was going to be a lyric from that oh. song. You probably yeah. Nobody yeah. knows what that song is. I was going to say, I hear him if he's around, but he's like such an awesome artist. Uh-huh. I do not listen to him like that. Hey. It's that's, unfortunate, that's, but that's he's awesome. I, I, I want to play with It's very unfortunate, but no, he's fire, though. I love that song. Oh, you want me to do the next? Parent, you, parents are the next one, guys. That's definitely parents. Okay. <clears throat> I'll okay, come on, Here goes mine. What you got? Picket lines and picket signs. Don't punish me with brutality. <sighs> and this song is from the 1970s. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> ancestors, ancestors, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. They better, they better be talking to you. I think the echo would have helped me too. What? One more game. Picket lines and picket signs. Don't punish me. With brutality. 70s. Oh my gosh. You know, I know. I know this. Uh huh, you do. <laughs> On the tip of the tongue, tip of the tongue. Pick a sign, pick a Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Pick a sign, Three, two, one. Pin. One of my favorite artists, Marvin Gaye. What's going on? What's oh, going on? Uh, <laughs> I was just listening to him in the car on my way. I wasn't listening to that song, but uh-huh, I uh-huh. heard that song. What's going on? Yes. What's going on? Lord Jesus. Yes, guys. Yeah, I do want to take a pause for the cause on that game because look, it's getting, look, it's hot. Stick around, and we're gonna go to one of you guys and everybody else, but my favorite segment. <laughs> Rank them up, Rank them up, Rank them up. <laughs> Treasure. So I'm gonna let Parent explain to you what Rank them up is, yeah, and then we just want you to participate in it. So here we go. Participate. So, so what you say? <laughs> participate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What? He try to move. try to move through it all. <laughs> then he gonna pause. Then he gonna pause a little. 
moving a on. Rico fires. Rico fires. <laughs> so, so this rake em up is pretty simple. It was okay. a thing I created with Trace help a little bit. Okay. Um, we create. We create. We just do each episode. Do a top five of something. And mm. we, tr- we try to make it so it connects to our guest or our topic. So today's rank them up. Top five African-American female dancing musicians. Okay. All right. All right. Dancing. So and they try to always test five. me. Trigger. So they, they, uh, they try to, yeah. the point is for them to get through the top five without me chiming in. It's <laughs> that never, that never happens. But it never I, happens. I wouldn't even but, expect that to happen. So, but we're going to, I'm going to let them get through. Number five. Number five, the legend. I want to start it all basically. Tina Turner. Number five. Okay. okay. Number four, Aaliyah. Facts. All right. Surprising. Number three, Sierra. What? Number two, Janet Jackson. Wait, see okay. Who who is number one? Honorable mentions. Rihanna. Tiana oh, Taylor. God. Solange. Josephine oh, Baker. Josephine Baker. And Dorothy Dandridge. Those are no, she's not on that list yet. So, parent is obsessed with she can dance. First of all, you said Tiana Taylor was a honorable mention. mention. Um, Okay, Trey helped with this list as well. Just okay. And number one, Beyonce. Oh, I wouldn't hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's that's the list. The title, the 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 rank. What is top five African American female dancing musicians? Okay, dancing musicians. Yes, yes, yes. But yes, dancing yes. is first. Yeah. But Dan- dancing <laughs> is their priority. Dancing music. I, 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 I so think of dancing first. musicians first. I gotta put. But dancing. I gotta put. Though? That's what, Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Dancing, like, is they're, it a, they're heavy dancing. Janet is number one. Janet I was about to say be. because if that. You took that Janet. right out of my mouth because if that's the case, <laughs> Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson has to be number one because even. We know that, like she, she could sing, but she won't the singer. But right. her performances, what? she's gonna give you a she show. You raise valid points. This was a debate between Trey and I. Yeah. Come on, Trey, huh? Janet Jackson has to be first. Yeah, it sure. has to. I would put Janet number one, but I was, I like, you know, Trey, fine. Janet Jackson. Because I can't. Janet gotta be number one. Before. Janet, yeah, Janet I'm is not number one. Argue with you about. Sierra should be number two as well, but I'm not gonna argue about. Sierra, it. I'm not gonna argue with I can you. See why you we say Sierra's up. she's close to Janet though. Yeah, I, she, I can as say far why how they day. perform because yeah. Sierra, yeah, she's a modern day Janet. She's and that's not. Why she's number three. People, singer. People tease Beyonce, but, but <laughs> Sierra but just she, they just. But but the only thing I would say that takes Sierra out of that two spot, and I'll put Beyonce right there, is because Sierra. She has great performances, but I don't remember them like those two. <laughs> but it's that would be the of only the thing. Spectacle. I mean, I still remember Sierra performances. Like that's I, do that's too. I do I too. I still remember them. Yeah, but I think so. As far so. as sounds like my list is pretty well, accurate. Sounds like your but, list is not but accurate. No. <laughs> hey, but man. I'm. But no, I I still put Beyonce in that in that second place spot simply because Beyonce. Has worldwide, even though Sierra she got her level leveled up. Beyonce has, but we gotta concert. take all the extra stuff out of it. No dancing, dancing, entertainment, single ladies, uh, no, like move the top your body, five dancing musicians, dancing. I think we can talk about we can talk about Beyonce has the more dancing diverse musician. dancing capabilities. I, I don't think I don't I don't Beyonce but, dances. You're taking. No, you're, you're y'all are putting about, everything else into. He's the, talking about strictly it's top dance. five dancing oh. musicians. Like that's like, her like, performance. Like, I don't Sierra, give a damn she's about a, that. She's a but dancer. who is a better dancer? Who's a who's the better dancing musician? Sierra. <laughs> exactly, and, and Sierra I don't agree. Is a, Sierra with it. is a better dancer, but you said dance, dance and mu- musician. musician, dancing musician. Mm-hmm. They dance and they doing but, that dancing thing. and but they dancing musician. Is for, and, but you, but who's a better, <laughs> but who's a better dancer? That's that's number one. Sierra so is the better dancer. But oh, okay, musician. oh, okay. Let me ask y'all this question. Okay, this, this is how I, this, I love to break it down. Now here we go. If I, I'm looking for the casting says I'm looking for a dancing musician, so that means I want a the best dancer first. I don't care if they're a good singer. That's they're I'm, their best. Their dancing comes first. I want a dancing musician, so they need to be a good dancer first. As long as they can sing. Good. Now that's the qualification. That's the explanation. Sierra is over Beyonce. Nah. 
Well, everyone, at, everyone, give us your response. No, I want a Instagram dancing musician. For sure. A Marion, absolutely. And now, if you said a musician who can dance, <laughs> then Beyonce can be number two. Because you're looking for a musician, who, a musician can who, can dance. Dance. who can dance. Okay. Hey, I'm looking for a dancing well, what, Rico, musician. Nah, no, I can see what I can see. What I can people people, people going to back me. They're going to back me. You hear me? They're going to back me. I can back, I can back you on that one. Yeah, you better work. Rico, guess what? Guess what? The list has just changed. To musicians that dance. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you this mother. Like that. Okay, so I knew the, he was going to do it. Okay? But wait, with the list, it'll be okay. So that'd be Janet. Okay. Okay, you said dancing musicians, sir. Sure. Sure. Well, we're just dancers. We change the list. I just, B. I just did. And who was after her? Sierra was number three. No, who, who was, was four? Four. Aaliyah, Aaliyah and, and Tina Turner. Turner. Aaliyah was surprising. I didn't think she was going to be on the list, but that's great. I was convinced. But Aaliyah, but as far as Aaliyah, but when do she we was know? Here, do we know enough to put her there as a Aaliyah? dancer? But Aaliyah was a singer, though. Yeah, she was a yeah. singer, and but like, was, do we know enough of her dance? Like, she, I mean, she was yeah, yeah, but she had, she, she had moves. Right. She was a. They, she right in that category with they it was Sierra and Jane on because she because she she wasn't a, the best singer yeah but, but it was, she could still sing yeah dancing, her oral. so her performance because I'm telling you if she was still alive today oh she would have been ooh, it would yes it would it would be oh, her and Beyonce right here oh yeah I right was about here. to say Aaliyah would it would be right it would be no it Beyonce wouldn't be a Rihanna probably. though I'm telling you she would be right there with Beyonce because they're literally the same. Yeah, Beyonce just a it's just Beyonce can singer. sing. She's a little bit better singer. Oh, she a lot of better. But but um, uh, oh, a lot of better. Uh, she a lot of better. Oh, no. Beyonce hit <laughs> you that. Like that. She a lot of better. Beyonce hit that note. That was just... Yeah. All right, guys. Before we get too out of hand, we're gonna thank Treasure for kicking oh, it with us over. on this Yay. episode. Treasure. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Rico, add some applause in this thing. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> we. Tre- Oh my God, <laughs> treasure! So we definitely gotta have you back yes, eventually. I would love to. Um, guys, we want to send her well wishes because she's gonna be going to Florida soon. And what? Shout out your school. Tell them, give them, give them all your your stuff. All my stuff. <laughs> give them all my stuff. <laughs> so yes, I will be. These are my dance Look, kids. Busy These guys. These are my dance kids calling on. me right now. Um, Serenity, Autumn. Okay. And that's probably Michelle. Hey, Serenity I'll, and I'll call them later. But, um, uh, yes, I will be going to Florida State University, a solo conservatory um, program of acting in Sarasota, Florida. Shout out. Okay. Yes, three-year program. Um, catch me in 2024. I will have my master's. Hello. Acting. Awesome. Talk to me nice. Yes. But don't talk to me at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Hello. Because with Hello. that, with that, she could be, she could teach you anything, anything, that's anything. It? Jack she of all professor, trades. Professor, literally. Okay. Professor. And that's actually one of our um assistantships we have to teach to Hello. gain our coins while we're there. Yeah. Hello. Boom. So we'll be teaching um undergrad students. So the goal, I'm really hoping that they'll allow me to um have movement. Love it. And, and incorporate it with like the acting and I can do the dancing and all yes. of that together. So I'm really, really excited about that. But yes. yes. It'll work yes. out. It'll I work love out. it. I love it, man. Thank you. That's good. That's Thank you stuff. guys. So yes, much. guys. Yes, guys. Thank you for having me. This is so much fun. Yes. You're I welcome. Really enjoy. Yeah. Treasure, we got, we're going, we're going, we was going, I was going to take a pause for the cause, but we're going to just let you stay right here while we're going, okay. we're going to go to our Live for Your Friday moment and we're going to read our quote and we're going to. Hey! We went 86 on them, okay? <laughs> so, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. What's up? Here you go, friend. Oh, y'all need a quote? Oh, okay. I'm oh, no, we got no. <laughs> go my, my phone is over there, and so... And I'm always prepared, so... Parent always prepared. And my phone, phone, phone is dead or something. It's fell? Yeah, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you get out of the chair? <laughs> you could have got him. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> so, guys, like I said, my favorite moment, uh, we just like to bring it down at this our Live For Your Friday moment. Just wrap it all up. Bring everything back to the reason. Yeah. Okay? So, this uh, quote, it really correlates to um, Treasure and her journey. 
um, and just the journey that we're all on in 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 the world, in our life, and what we want to do because we're all artists here, really. Right. So, and this quote comes from an artist. Uh, what do they call her? She's the queen of something. I don't know what the artist is. Queen, I, mm, say. Mm -mm. I don't know, not so, but it's Diana Ross. Ooh. <laughs> Black, Hello, world. Yes, Black Music Month. Yeah, that's Aretha Franklin, but. She, I she mean, no, because be. that's Donna Summer. That's Donna Summer. Donna Summer's Queen of Disco. Oh. She's a queen. How about that? She's a queen. So, of something. Diana. Diana. Okay. She said, huh? Diana said this. We'll figure it out. But this is what <laughs> this is what Diana said. She said, you can just sit there and wait for people to give you that golden dream. No, no, no. Scratch it. That's the <laughs> right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Pause. <laughs> every time I so every time I be reading guys, I be I be like getting in like my look, my acting. Right? So Come like, on. So I be like trying to like oh, don't you can't be funny, right? <laughs> Alright, so this is what it says. You can just sit there and wait for people to give you that golden dream. You've got to make it. Oh, you can't. You can't just sit there and wait for people to give you that golden dream. You've got to make it happen for yourself. Read that one more time. You can't just sit there and wait for people to give you that golden dream. you got to make it happen for yourself. There you go. Yeah. And it goes right along with our whole theme for this season, guys, about being bold and just going after what you want in life treasure is doing exactly that awesome Thank so you. and we are and we want you there you go ah, diana yes. ross the queen of motel we all you know we all want you guys to do that so we can't just sit there and wait for our dreams to come to us mm -hmm. right we gotta get out there and make them happen as make i've been happen. saying rico so yeah 2021 shit gets done yes 2021 shit gets done that needs to be on a shirt come on Shit. Yeah. I love it, guys. So we love y'all, man. And we just love want y'all to make sure y'all go out, have some fun this weekend, and live for your Friday. And y'all got any final words for the people? Love you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and whatever you got going on in this world, eat they ass up doing it. Okay. Period. Eat they ass up. <laughs> Leave no crumbs. Be easy. Be easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I gotta say is uh, drink your water and uh, real gold pictures on YouTube, please. Keep yes. The Thank you. <laughs> oh, before I go, I, I'm about to get a little bit turned up again because I'm about to fire Trey because I said if you let me forget to mention real gold pictures on another episode, you're done. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Real Gold. They got a lot popping, guys, and we just want to make sure that we. Uh, Shot them out, support them. They support us, so we love them. Absolutely. So, uh, the treaty is coming. And we love y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. <laughs>